People all around this room are looking at Alabama Department of Transportation's plan to rebuild and expand I-59 from I-459 to Chalkville Mountain Road. We realize it's going to be an inconvenient, but we think in the long run it'll be uh, better. To do it, Aldot says it will have to close parts of the interstate for six months. Trustable driver Ron Cobb came to tell state officials he's not a fan of their plan. We're going to be uh, without access to the interstate for a year or more. Robert Wharton's worried about congestion coming to Highway 11 and downtown Trustville, where he lives. He says drivers will likely use it as a detour. What's it like right now? Terrible. They've got one of the bridges across the Cahaba uh, down to one lane. We're working to make sure that the lights on US 11 through downtown Trustville and on Roebuck Parkway, which is Alabama 75, are functioning at their best. So when travelers get to those two locations, they'll be able to maneuver all the way into town. While many are concerned about the timeline of this project, some people don't have faith the state will deliver in the time frame it's proposing. LDOT says construction could take two and a half years, but they want to get it done in one. My personal experience is it always takes longer than what they anticipate. And I don't think they really have a great plan as to how to share with us how they're going to improve that timeline at all. I've never seen the government uh, come in uh, under budget and on time. So, you know, I, could, I imagine this is going to be longer than the, what they are estimating. Al Dot hopes to begin construction bidding by late summer, early fall, then start the $30 to $40 million project sometime next year. In Trustville, Magdala Lusant, WVTM 13.